The inverted yield curve. What? I'm Clay, let me explain. First off, I've done videos on what are bonds and then what is a bond yield curve. So if you don't know what those terms are, definitely go watch those videos first. But if you do, and you're just curious, okay, so what's going on with this inverted yield curve, especially at least at the time of this recording, it's been a little bit in the headlines. So I wanted to quickly illustrate and explain what it is and what it represents. Although I will say, there's lots of theory that goes into it, and I'll get to that in a second. But first, let's just go over what is a normal yield curve. So this will be a, a very quick recap of what I talked about, like I said, in the video down below. So the bond yield curve has the percent yield right here, and then down here you have time, and this is just time until the bond matures. If you, bond matures, what? That, that would be a sign to go watch the other video first. Now, if you know what I mean by that, perfect. So that is what's going on down here, and you have, you know, we'll call it three months, and then right here you have a year, and then right here you have 10 years, and then, you know, out here, let's just say you have 30 years. Now, this is just for example's sake, but that's the idea here, and the normal yield curve is going to look like this right here. Meaning, the longer you hold onto a bond, the longer the bond's maturity date is, the higher percentage you are gonna get. And as a quick recap, this is all just due to, well, the longer you hold something, there's more risk that comes with it. And I'm just gonna leave it at that because I go over three separate risks in the video that you can see below. But just understand that is why you do get paid more the longer you hold something because the further out this way you go, the more risk that there actually is. But that is where things get very interesting because with the inverted yield curve, what you have is this. Now it's not always this pronounced, but this is just to try to get the point across. But you have something that looks like this, which is very, very interesting, meaning that the longer a maturity until the bond matures, there's actually less yield. Meaning, wait a second, you're holding on for something for a longer time, but you're getting less yield. What, what's going on with that? Well, the reason is that right up here, I mean, think about this. Right around the three month area is where the yield is gonna be the absolute highest. And what dictated all of this? Well, risk. In normal situations, the longer you have something, the more risk there is. So therefore, you need to be paid more. Higher risk, higher reward. But when yield curves go inverted, that is implying that actually people perceive the risk to be in the very near term. So right around these two areas, you know, three months to a year, there is a lot of risk. And why is there a lot of risk? Well, that's where the whole theory comes into it. So in this section right here between these two points, and I'll put why, meaning why is there perceived risk? I mean, you could have all sorts of theories. Well, because the economy is about to do this. The economy is about to do this. This indicator is implying that that is gonna happen. And like I said, there's all sorts of opinions on why this happens. But the fact of the matter is, when that does happen, that is telling just the market as a whole that, wow, in the very near term, people are perceiving lots of risk because they are demanding they get a higher yield. Higher risk, higher reward. And if there is perceived risk in the very near term, well then those people are gonna want more reward in the near term to take on that risk. Which signals, in many cases, people say, this is what happens before a big economic recession hits a country or hits an economy or whatever. Because people are thinking, yikes, it's actually safer to go further out here because at least that will give things you know, time to maybe steady out. But because the, the perceived uh, the perceived value there is, well, less risk, that's why those people are getting less reward. But if the perceived risk is that in the very near term, there's a lot of risk, well then again, people are going to need more payment. They're gonna need more reward for that risk that they are taking on. So that is, at the core, what an inverted yield curve is. It's a big signal that, hey, you know what? Bad things may be coming soon. Not a guarantee, there's no such thing as some sort of guaranteed uh, you know, within the market. 
But a lot of people will argue, and the track record is, that when the bond yield curve goes inverted like it has now, that has been an, what we would call a leading indicator into economic hardships and uh, you know, you know, financial, uh, financial rough patches, we'll call it that. And like I said, as of this video right now, in the past few months, as of recording of this video, I should say, in the past few months, uh, you know, the yield cur curve has gone inverted. So there's been lots of headlines. Hey, is, an, is a recession coming? Hey, is, uh, is a cool down in the economy coming? You know, lots of things that are implying some maybe negative scenarios. And this is once again, all coming from the fact that according to the bond market, bond holders are saying, hey, in the near term, things are looking pretty risky. Therefore, I need more money. And therefore, the yield curve has inverted itself. So that is what the yielded yield curve is and what it's representing. But once again, why are all those, why is the risk being perceived a certain way? Why do people feel as though there's more risk? Well, that's gonna vary for everybody. Everybody's got an opinion on that. Everybody's got a theory on that. But at the core, the fact of the matter is there is more perceived risk in the near term rather than the long term. So that's why the yields shift itself around or again, to use that term, go inverted. Any questions or comments or anything like that, leave those down below. And as always, I'm all for suggestions for the, the Clay Explained segment. So there's something else out there that you're not quite sure. It doesn't have to do with bonds, can really do with anything. Let me know, I'm always looking for ideas. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you are out there trading alone currently and maybe are in the market looking for a community to join to assist you in your trading or to just help you, you know, give you another set of eyeballs, then I do have a private trading community where you can trade alongside me and other experienced traders. So what you see popping up on the screen right now is both an information link. So if you click on the inner circle one, that is going to take you to the page where I explain all the details of what exactly come with the community, both the chat room and the newsletter. And then the other image that has popped up is a behind the scenes tour where you can see exactly what is going to you know, be contained within the community. I take you through, like I said, a behind the scenes tour of everything. And that way you'll know precisely what you are getting uh, you know, when you join. So definitely check that stuff out if you are interested and thinking about you know, wanting to join a community. And let me know if you have any questions.